a number of you are going to continue to be pursuing internships, fantastic, uh, and a, certainly a fair number of you will be pursuing a full-time or part-time position, also terrific. But for the purposes of a cover letter, when we say job, I'm just as much talking about, as an, in, talking about an internship. Now, we have titled, or I have titled today's presentation, the cover letter conundrum, how to overcome it and position yourself effectively. And I think it's a good place to start to look at what the meaning of conundrum is and why I use that word. Um, you see the definition courtesy of Webster's New World College Dictionary. Um, despite the fairly lame joke in number one, um, I would really call your attention to number two, the second definition, which is of conundrum, which is any puzzling question or problem. And appropriately, the synonym that, that Webster's uses is mystery. And it's been my experience, uh, not necessarily here at ASPA, but in various positions over the course of my career, where I've had the opportunity to hire, fire, promote uh, employees and interns, it's been my experience that, uh, that cover letters, especially when you read them as a prospective employer, are clearly a mystery to the people who write them in many cases. And so what are the puzzling questions that I often hear, not only from job applicants,